Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video I'm going to add filters and tabs on the employees table. So filters allow you to define certain constraints on your data and allow users to scope it to find the information they need. And you put them in the dollar sign table filters method. So if I open the VS code, we have the public static function table, which return the table columns method and here we define all of the columns we need to, for the table so we need to show here all the columns and then we have this filters method now in this filter we define all the filters we need filters may be created using the static method passing its unique name and you should then pass a callback the query which apply your filter scope so the same here we have make static method with the name. Now I'm going to use a select filter and select filters do not require a custom query method. The column name used to scope the query is the name of the filter. So let's say here select filter and call the static make method and here we need to define the name and I'm going to say department like this and select filters are also able to automatically populate themselves based on a relationship because here I'm with the other relationship for example we have a department relationship with the name column and you can use the relationship method to filter the records belonging to a department so we can say here relationship passing the name of the relation which is department and we need to display the name of a department now if i save and come here and refresh as you can see we have this uh, icon and if i click we have filters with the department which is the name we added here and let's filter by laravel now only the employees belong to the Laravel depar department are listed. Also, if we select React and Vue.js, we can reset them. Okay, now uh, on the departments, we have only three departments, but if we have more, for example, like we have on the country, and we can add a search table here. So the same we had also on the form. So we can change searchable and save, and refresh. Now we can search. Also, we can add a preload if you like to populate the searchable options from the database when the page is loaded. So instead of when the user searches, you can use the preload method to populate them. And we can do the change the preload here, save, come here and refresh. And if I click, now it's preloading all the departments and we can search for example for Laravel and we have Laravel there. Now when a filter is active, an indicator is displayed above the table to show the table query has been scoped. Okay, also we have this X we can remove from here or we can say reset. If you want to change here the label for the filters, we can change also label here. So I'm going to say label and I'm going to say uh, filter by department and if I save and refresh we can say we can see we have filter by department and if I click Laravel now also here as an indicator we have this label filter by department. If you don't like that and for example you like to have here filter by department but not in here we can chain also an indicator method and pass in the name for example just department A refresh now we have here department but as a label here we have filter by department okay also if you go to the filament table builder documentation we have here filters and you can go and read the documentation. I'm going to add also 
this feeder for created out just i have one more there so let's copy this and paste it after this select filter we need to import this feeder from the filament tables filter and also the date picker and let's save let's open the browser and refresh now if we click here we can see created from and created until here let's remove the department and i'm going to select created from this date until uh, this date here okay we have only four results i select from one we have six results we have added to the filter by created data and created until but we don't see the indicator here if you want to do that you cannot indicate using and we have yeah here is an example so indicate using passing a function which accepts an array data and with this data we access the date picker so the date picker created that and created until and let's i'm going to pass here we have the indicate using and i have just a copy from here and now we need to import the carbon from the illuminate support carbon here let's save and let's see now on the browser if i refresh as you can see now we have created from and created until because we had he have here indicators created from it's going to be able with created from and passing the date so created from and also created until here we have here created until and the date also we can add the filter for laravel for example and now we have all the active filters here we can add also a layout so we can define the layout on the filter after the array we can say layout as you can see here which by default is null and let's say layout and i'm going to say filters layout and here we have above above content above content collapsible below content so let's say above content and let's save this now if i refresh we can see we have above the table the filters now as we can see here we have all filters here and all filters taking the full width and if you don't like that we can chain here a uh, filter form columns and let's say i want to show here refresh yeah now we have separated the the by department and the created from and created until okay but let me just say filter form columns to be three and if i refresh now i want this filter to take both two columns here the this one and also the empty one so let's do that in this one here so i'm going to chain the column span to be two and let's save refresh and then columns to be two here and yeah now we have more nice like this if you prefer if you don't like that you can remove this one and also the filter columns and i'm going to remove also the layout here and leave the default one refresh right here okay let's reset and let's add now the tabs so we can add tabs above the table which can be used to filter the records based on some predefined conditions each tab can scope the eloquent query of the table in a different way to register tabs we need to add a get tabs method to the list page class and return an array of tab objects so we need to open for the employee resource we need to open the employee list employees and here we need to add public function to get tabs which is going to 
not get tables but get tabs we see the return an array so let's say return and return an array now here we need to add the tab so I'm going to say for example all and say tab from the filament resources pages uh, list of records so tab static make method and if I leave like this let's close this one and let's come here and refresh as you can see here is the tab all and now let's create one more and I'm going to say this week and I'm going to query based on the employees we have her uh, hired this week so I'm going to say tab make and then I'm going to modify query using and here we need to add a callback so fn and we need to add a builder from the eliminate database into our sign query let's say query where now where the date hired is greater or equal with the and I'm going to use now sub week save this and let's refresh yeah we have this week here if I click we can see we have only four results if I come here six this week or results let's do the same for uh, so let's copy this and paste down there with that also for this month and one more for the this year so let's say here this month and here this year so the employee we have are hired this month and we can see just change this to sub month and also here sub year let's save let's refresh now we have all this week this month and this year so I go to all we have six results this week four this month we have five and this year six we can add also a badge here to display the count of employees based on the query here so let's uh, say uh, this one first I'm going to chain the badge and say employee query and I'm going to pass uh, this one so where the date hired is greater equal with and now subweek and here now we need to call the account and if I save and refresh yeah we have this week four let's copy this now and add it to the month just change here to be sub month and also in here to be sub year and let's save let's refresh and yeah now we have this week this month for five uh, this year's six okay friends that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends because it's going to help me to rank on youtube